Welcome to PP18, the plenipotentiary conference for ITU in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Thomas Hickey, who is the Chief Legal Officer for Iridium. That's Thomas, right. welcome to the studio. Thanks, it's great to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, on ICTs, as an enabler for good, for development, for the benefit of uh, people, families, communities, and nations. And I wanted to find out, what's your personal perspective on this? Good, good question. I imagine that most attendees at the conference, they're in the communications field. They probably have a personal view on this. Um, as someone who spent his entire professional career in telecommunications, I uh, have always been fascinated by the technology. But I also really love the idea of connecting people in, in distant places. and. I was initially attracted to work where I am now at Iridium Communications because we are the only system that covers 100%, only satellite system covers 100% of the planet. So especially for the, you know, more than 80% of the planet has no terrestrial communication, we, uh, we connect everybody everywhere on a non-discriminatory basis. So I get pretty excited to be able to talk about how we can you know, have, have people who are in, in the middle of the ocean contact home for a, a, a memorable family day, or uh, scientists who are researching things in a distant planet, they can, a distant part of the planet can uh, collect their research and connect home. Or, uh, you know, an aircraft pilot who needs to contact uh, air traffic control, we can do all those things through Iridium, and, uh, and other satellite companies can do some of those things, but that's what, what, what gets me excited to go to work every day. Now, global statistics are saying that, that half the world's people are connected to the internet, uh, the other half isn't. What is Iridium doing uh, to get everyone connected? Well, it's, um, it's true that you know, wireless uh, 5G is going to be really important for development in general, but I think. Iridium covers the, the entire the higher planet. So as I said, more than you know, more than eighty percent of the world has no terrestrial communication. So we provide that connection. So in a way, if you step back, it's all about connections. So you know, connection to the internet, we can provide really no matter where you are. So you're not limited by you know what continent you live in, what uh, what country you live in, uh, where you are. You can you can have connection. I think so. In, in that way, we're doing our part to have. Uh, have a, a connection where I think is where you start, because some people do have no connection. Now, this plenipotentiary conference is the first one since the world agreed to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask, what's Iridium's perspective on the SDGs, and how important do you think they are, and, and, and how do you think they, they should be best implemented? Obviously, they're super important. I, I look at the uh, Sustainable Development Goals, and Iridium probably relates to a few of them, maybe nine. 11, 13, 14, 15, if I remember correctly. And what I mean by that, I'd, I'd, I'd say at least three main things. I think about development. I mean, it's hard to imagine development in 2018 and beyond with it, without a, a really sophisticated Internet of Things. And I think in a Iridium, in a low Earth orbit uh, satellite system, can deliver IoT in real time anywhere on the planet. So connecting people and places and, and, and things to help help lead to smart development is something that, that, that we take very seriously. Perhaps even more compelling when I think about sustainability, and specifically in, in covering areas that don't have terrestrial coverage, things like you know, fishery management. So you have uh, vessel monitoring, catch monitoring, protected endangered species, and at the end of the day, we're talking about you know, food security. I mean, the, a, lot of the, a lot of the world depends on protein from the sea, and to be able to manage that responsibly and to have um, you know, protein security, food security for today and, and frankly for tomorrow, I think that's something that a company like Iridium can, can really help with. Um, and then maybe I, I just mentioned, you know, kind of at, at its most basic, just uh, safety and, and, um, and security in the sense of Iridium provides connection to tsunami buoys in a number of countries. So, Early warning of a of a tsunami coming for you know safety of life for coastal communities, uh, but also we provide you know, uh, search and rescue services for ships in distress, uh, aircraft in distress, or just a lone worker who who needs assistance. So I think that that all relates to the, uh, those STGs. And what does the future hold with uh, the world uh, and connectivity and, and Iridium enabling that? Well, I think uh, good things. 
I think, you know, as we get increasingly connected, I think you know, the, the demand for smartphones that we all use so much has, I think, confirmed the need to be connected wherever you are, even if you don't have smartphone coverage. So through a system like, like, like Iridium, you can, you can be connected and uh, I think less, less at risk and, and more likely to, to, uh, to be able to, to, to live well and, and uh, have, a, have a, a, a prosper in a, in a developed economy. Now, you said you're, you're gearing up, even though it's a little bit of a way away, for the WRC conference next year. What are your main priorities then? I think it's just uh, protecting um, spectrum for satellites. I mean, we have less than 8 megahertz for a worldwide system, so that spectrum is important to us, like it is for, for all companies. But I think we, uh, Iridium, has recently um, had a, a completed a six-year uh, effort to be recognized for maritime safety service by the ITU sister organization, the International Maritime Organization. And so that uh, agency has made a decision to recognize Iridium for maritime safety service. There's an agenda item next year that will simply implement that into the radio regulations, uh, listing Iridium frequencies for GMDSS service. No additional spectrum requested, but simply uh, helping extend a global service to parts of the globe that don't have satellite maritime safety service today. And, and so that's something we'll be working with delegations on and helping make sure that they understand it and help address any questions they might have about it. Well, Thomas Hickey, well, thank you for joining us in the studio. And we look forward to catching up with you again soon, perhaps next year at WRC or, or before then. Great. Thank you for all your interest. Thank you.